how long an IVF cycle takes. Typically, an IVF cycle would follow a one menstrual cycle, wherein we start off from day two of a, the menstrual cycle, where the patient is called in to assess her ovarian reserve and the endometrium. A few baseline tests, hormonal tests are done on day two, and then the drugs are started to grow the eggs or to, to for what this process is called as ovulation induction, where we start off with the medication to grow the eggs and then the patient is called back usually on the sixth day after the injections to assess whether the patient has responded to the injections, whether we need to increase the dose and if the eggs are growing if the follicles are increasing in size and the egg growing well, whether we need to add any more medication to the cycle. So typically this goes on for about 10 to 12 days when the patient is called in between for scans maybe again on day 9 and day 10 or day 12. And once the eggs are ready, we give the last injection which is called the trigger which matures the eggs and 36 hours after the trigger injection is when the ovum retrieval or or the ovum pickup happens. Uh, here the patient is put under anesthesia and we retrieve all the eggs and these eggs are then fertilized with the husband's sperm and the next day we check to see how many eggs are fertilized. This is called the fert check and subsequently daily the eggs, the uh, fertilized eggs are assessed to see if they are cleaving and if the embryos are developing. So once the ovum pickup happens on day three we, we are able to transfer embryos. If we want to wait two more days and do a blastocyst transfer, then we wait up to day five and then transfer the embryos. Now, if so, typically this cycle takes about 12 to 15 days. And if we are not going to transfer the embryos in this cycle for reasons when the patient has produced too many eggs or the estrogen levels are high or the endometrium is inappropriate, then we do what is called a segmental IVF where we freeze all the embryos and the patient in a subsequent cycle, the embryos are transferred. But typically one single IVF cycle follows the menstrual period and is usually over in about 12 to 15 or 16 days. But if we are freezing the embryos, then we have to go through a second cycle in which the patient is given medication to develop the endometrium or the lining of the uterus and the embryos are transferred after that.